Good call. Episode 17 of the Winnipeggers. Uh, what did you say, Rybo, about me? What did I win already? You already won the, well, you won it last week, I'm sure, actually. <laughs> the idiot I Olympic. won the idiot Olympics again. I sent you guys the freaking link. Me and Rybo were talking for like 20 minutes, wondering where the yeah, hell I was. Yeah, I was waiting. Uh, the link didn't come to the Spivak, and then it comes, and it's a different link, and then you send one that was no link. Uh, we did a whole show without you. <laughs> it's our best I, I actually expected that at around episode six, not fourteen, so fifteen or seventeen or whatever this is. So. It was you our Greg best. Wallace to play your part. It's okay. You did a great job <laughs> with 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 a with a shirt and a toque over top. Uh, we're gonna start it hot right here. Uh, great new sponsor here this week. Uh, welcome. We got lots of stuff to talk about. We're talking about uh, the amazing uh, state of the art. Unicity Mall, Woo. Uh, oh. located in uh, what's what part of town were we in? West Westwood. Uh, that would be called Crestview, I would believe. The cross oh, for the Portage Avenue from that's, Westwood. That's like well, like Ribo said, Westwood would tell us that it's the west part of Winnipeg. So Unicity, uh, it's not just called Mall; it's called Unicity Mall, aka Unibag. Yeah. If you uh, came from <laughs> where we come from, fine uh, group of investors here that are starting up uh, Unibag. Um, with only the top of the line uh, in mall materials, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I think malls are going the way of the uh, uh, encyclopedia salesmen and record stores uh, and uh, blockbuster videos. Rivo, what do you think? I don't think this Unicity Mall is going to be around for much longer. Yes, I agree. It might not even got, be around right now. They got they got a good deal. They actually are. They they tore down the big, huge box stores, and uh, now it's back to Unicity Mall. How great would that be? Oh, the old yeah, malt man. shop, and yeah, oh, God. We used to hang out at Unibag all the time. Great times there at Unicity. Uh, uh, remember, let's think of some stories. You guys think I'll tell you my favorite place. <laughs> Unicity Mall, Sam, the Record Man. Oh, yeah. Was the name of, of uh, what do you mean? I love Sam, the Record Man. Oh, yeah. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I, oh, yeah. <laughs> I rode my bike there to get the. Uh, I rode my bike there. I remember specifically going there for a couple of reasons. One, that's where I bought Master of Puppets. Uh, that's where I, I bought To Hell with the Devil. I remember buying Dokken Tooth and Nail there as well. And then I rode my bike there and bought Saxon Destiny and Striper and God We Trust. And as I rode, drove home, rode home with the plastic bag with records, hoping that I wouldn't wipe out and break the records. Yeah, nice. Wait, Sam and Record Man. Yeah. Speedy, what's your favorite I, I, bag? I mean, Sam and Record Man was a classic there because it was so close, right? It, it, it wasn't record on wheels quality or anything, but it was still pretty good. I, I like the bay. I love the bay. I would go there. I would uh, I would get a little uh, uh, little bit of allowance, and I'd buy a nice sweater. And uh, if I didn't wear a T-shirt under the sweater, I would get this terrible shoulder and back acne. Oh, I don't miss that. I was on tetracycline. I remember I was on tetracycline for about a, about two weeks to try to get rid of so bad acne. Uh, not on the face. The face has always been good. What was, what was their name? What, what, what did they call you? David Zitback. I mean, there was it didn't you know they weren't brain surgeons. They got kind of figured out pretty quick. That and <laughs> uh, crazy legs. I was very skinny. I had my mother's legs and my father's upper body. I was blessed. <laughs> why, why, why were you I, I used to, I used to flamingo dance across Portage Avenue to get to Unicity Mall and buy a sweater that gave me acne. <laughs> I blame the sweater. First of all, you're the first person ever, a uh, teenager, that took his allowance to buy a fucking sweater. Good call. <laughs> I, I was going through the Corey Hart stage. Oh, uh, 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 good call. 
They're called shaker sweaters, kind of like Cosby sweaters. Those are all the chicks liked the guys that had that. See, actually, that's I what I had, kind of first, like that too. One of the first so, cassettes I ever bought was uh, was Corey Hart "Boy in the Box," and I bought that at uh, Sam the Record Man. <laughs> Fuck that tune, buying... man! What, uh, I'm sorry, but it's just bad, 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 and the boy in the box. Uh, it is it just so crazy, man. That was not a great follow up, but it still was. Are you gonna be, are you in the, the box? Are it was like Jobu Kaka did it. Are you the drunkest guy on the show this week, uh, Spiwi? No, not at all. I've just been waiting for you guys for like an hour, but I'm fine. I'm so sorry. I got a, I, I got my. Uh, this is a original 19. Uh, eight, we had a 1980 Moto Ski Skidoo, and it came with this. Moto Psycho. Does not that anyone's big, asked me. Does it have a big ball on the top of it? It has one ball. I'm gonna get another one put in. I'm gonna have one Where? here and one here because I prefer two balls on my head than one. Where's T guy? AKA from episode 14. Uh, AKA. AKA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we don't care. Favorite He's memory drunk. of Unibag? He is drunk. Uh, mine was the uh, janitor pinhead. He's, he's what I remember the oh, most. Oh, I remember that actually. <laughs> uh, did he used to smoke while doing while working? Was Probably. That, I remember that. Like just Everybody walking smoked around, and worked. Smoking and just sure. just with a broom and just smoking in the mall. Is that is that possible? Yes, it is, dude. Think it, it seems like it's so long ago, but even when you went on an airplane and there was an ashtray and people were just smoking, everybody smoked. I was no, selling radio, radio advertising, nervous as shit. Some guys got smoking cigarettes at the desk. And what are your ratings, you little fucker? That kind of shit. And you're like, oh god, and you're sweating and he's smoking and he doesn't give a shit. Nobody cares. I remember Pinhead. Uh, Motley Crue actually wrote a song about him. It's called, Shut up. Get in the broom room. <laughs> <laughs> get in the broom room. <laughs> I thought you were serious for a second. Yeah. No way. I lost power. They Hang on. To Winnipeg, they went to Unibag, they stopped Pinhead, and they wrote Too Fast for Love because he had all the chick. Wow, and there was also a horror movie made after him, too. Pinhead, yeah, a Hellraiser. <laughs> but tell us uh, what was some of the the, the, the uh, highlights of Pinhead. Who was he and what did he do? <laughs> I know, hey, I don't Ri 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 Ribo dated him from 85 to 7, I believe. <laughs> he was a lovely man. I'm going to yeah. run into Pinhead around town. It's going to be a little awkward. <laughs> to tell us what, he, what, 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 what would he do, Ribo? I, I don't remember actually much about, about him. Well, because your, your brother, Kev, would really tell the story about Pinhead. Uh, Kev would try and befriend him and bum smokes off of him. Oh. As you do. There we go. This guy, Ian, Ian Henderson, is really great. He bought me a smoke and bought me a hash brown. Which really <laughs> sounds sounds amazing. Oh my God, what that a great was, character. Yeah, that was the qualities for a friend for life. But he said to Pinhead one time, Do you drink? <laughs> and apparently, Pinhead talked like this Hey, Pinhead, do you drink? Only on New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> Pinhead turns into Dracula. I've only drink on the New Year's. <laughs> Put Dracula in uh, Turks and Caicos, Spewy. Oh, God. <laughs> Count, Count Cocula. Cocula. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to suck your cock. Oh, God, he's underwater. Run. <laughs> well, that would be more likely swim. I think it would be the proper nomenclature there. Did Not you have a the very big, good swimmer. You had the big teeth <laughs> that instead of blood down the side, it was just white tears. <laughs> It was the face shot 40th birthday holiday special. You know what? You know what? Uh, I just found that out. That was 10 years ago. We should talk about that one day, by the way. That crazy yeah, we, 40th hey, Turks and we Caicos. Can, we can, we can, uh, we can uh, go with the flow and then take it somewhere else. We've never announced the topic yeah. yet. Yeah, I'm exactly. Not, not that you want to go there. We can do it. I'll tell you the reason. Oh, no, no. We, we got our stuff. Well, whatever you want to do. You're the boss, man. Whatever you There's want to do. A lot of great stories, Rock Rumpel. <laughs> There's great, there's great stories there. Yeah. Maybe we should come back to that. Let's come back to it, I think, because yeah. it's uh, it, it is a, it actually is a great story. Let's do that someday. Well, I mean, Soon. it was it was ten years ago because it's my fiftieth birthday this week, and that was my fortieth. But I guess we can come back to it next week, apparently, so you guys have time to prepare what you're not going to say. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to rock it, man. I, I'm leaving. Oh no, that no that, stone that, unturned. <laughs> oh, for sure, man. For sure, us too. It's just, I just, it's just the memory of remembering. But I remember certain things that are just fantastic. So let's save it. Let's save it. Let's. Okay. What, what is our episode topic tonight again? We're, we've been rolling, man. We've got ten minutes in the bag already. It's been top quality entertainment. I always <laughs> find that. Uh, our let's second, talk about the election. Our second. Uh, oh yeah, we have an, uh, uh, we have an election uh, uh, result. 
But we're not politics here. We don't care about politics here on the Winnipeggers. Because Winnipeggers don't care about politics. No. We're not going to talk. We're here to entertain and have there fun. A, That's there what was we a care ten year, about. There was a 10-year period when I did not know who the Prime Minister of Canada was. Nice. And the only thank God. It's a good thing we're not recording that. The only reason why I know who it is now is because he's the uh, uh, son of Mick Jagger. Anyways, oh, <laughs> um, we're going to talk this week about first cars. Mick Jagger. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, first cars and not a great party. David Suzuki's okay. Suzuki's going to be furious, Spewy. You know what? Suzuki doesn't like you, okay? Well, he's I had like some problems either. with you in the past hey, and there's here, some issues. Your, I, I heard he, he's banned your, from Talk is Jericho. <laughs> here's your here's your clickbait. Hey David Suzuki, go fuck your ass. There oh you Jesus Christ. Put that in the uh Toronto Times. See what happens there. All right. So this week we're talking about a great, delightful subject. This is actually my idea, which means next week, Ribo, it has to be your idea because you have not come up with one yet. Um, <laughs> Ryan true. had uh, high school yearbooks, which was episode 12 or 11 or 10. Never, Check them out on YouTube. Went, so we good. We never went all the way. We never went deep diving with it. It was supposed to be high school with uh, Attica days or whatever it was called. Stefan Attica, Stefan Attica days. No, it was like the yearbook, and we showed our what our pet peeves were and stuff. It was like you know, I want to be a DJ and rock the peg. All that stupid shit. Ryan's idea. Ratings have all been picked by me. Those are all my topics. That's true. That's true. But this week is first cars, which I think is a great. It's a rite of passage for any kid and here's the difference so so my son and he's not spoiled because he's got two sisters but i have a, a tesla that i that, I, that I, I taught him to drive on the tesla right so when he, he, went, for, he, went, he went for his uh but let me let me here's the point let me tell you the point though it's super safe right like if you go outside your lane it beeps it honks it farts it burps if somebody comes to your car it zaps them with a with a shiv like, like, the, the whole thing breaks off, to, breaks it encapsulated off. in a force field. So the thing is, I'm like, his first car is 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 a Tesla. And I'm like, that's not cool. But in this day and age, the, the days that we grew up in of getting beaters as your first car, those days are gone. And here's the reason yeah. why. Would you want your kid driving a fucking beater as his first car, the most dangerous piece of shit? Absolutely not. But yet our parents had no problem with it. Don't care. No. Pre okay. pre evolution a little bit and the old safety laws they came in I think in the late 80s like before that you could just duct tape anything you could drive around without a, cat a muffler catalytic converter who cares uh, you could get a car for a hundred dollars and you didn't have to get it safety up to about 1987 or 88 somewhere in there so think about that how crazy that is so yeah it's like my first cars were brutal just because based on that uh, you, yeah. you were able to buy a three hundred dollar car, and people did. I mean, that was so funny. Like, I love the idea of the beater car. Like, maybe it did. You're right. It probably doesn't last anymore. It doesn't exist anymore. Partially probably because cars used to last so long that you know, right. especially with the a right amount of duct tape. But I remember my friend Keith uh, Howarth had this <laughs> car. It was we used to call it the Flintstone Mobile because you could actually put your feet and touch the ground because there was like a big hole in the back. <laughs> hey, man, call back. That's what you said when you had your Flintstone imitation a couple weeks ago. Hello, oh, and by is. the way, by the way, apparently, so you guys don't, you guys got to tell me this sort of stuff. When I showed the, uh, the the video for the imitation a couple weeks ago, the sound wasn't on. And you guys never tell me this stuff. So uh, well, that's not what did, I was looking for. Did, did, what did you are you talking about? Dave? Dave, did you hear the sound when he was... Uh, what are you talking about the imitation I, I, show? What are you talking about the yeah, imitation the, show? The Kermit the Frog, like the Jake's uh, Jake's video there. Did you hear what was going on? I can't I, hear it. Ryan said, I can't hear you, and I went like this, and then I could slightly baby hear it, like little baby hear it. So I just went, well, maybe it's good on your end, which has happened before, where on your end it's good and ours isn't. So uh, have you, you've already listened back and it's not there? I don't know why we're talking about this. This is just a meeting for Winnipeggers right now. <laughs> I, know, I, want, I wanted to replay it because it was super funny. It is funny. But apparently, I might have lost. I, I didn't have the. Uh, I did not have the uh, um, audio turned on. Which oh, once again, you guys have to tell me this stuff. Well, we're not. We're, we cannot. We don't know because sometimes you say tell us and don't tell us. And we did tell you. Ryan told you if you play back, I and never, I gave you this. I've never once said don't tell us. 
So every time it's always the same. Please tell me. Please All tell right. us. Please tell me. Okay, so I, I did out. hear it though. So if, if the listeners at home can just crank their systems, they will hear it. I just want to well, say we're gonna, that we're I did hear it. One more time here for all the people that did not yeah, hear Yeah, cool. He is Kermit the Frog. Can you hear it now? Hey, Miss Pig, you know, I'll have sex with you, but I don't want anything else tonight. Get lost. Ah! Ryan, I challenge you to Fred Flintstone. Hey, Wilmot, you like these cigarettes? All right, so I'm going to give it to you, Chris. Yeah, uh, I'm ready. Gilbert Godfrey. Hey, my bro's playing this game. His imitations, he's not even Pretty trying. Wah, waka, wah. Eat his bunker. God. Oh, Archie! Archie, why do you have to be so mean to everybody? <laughs> uh, uh, Woody Allen. It, it's it's really weird, right, Ryan? And, and, and trying to make these movies, and then <laughs> <laughs> that's and, and, like Adam Sandler doing Woody Allen. <laughs> and, 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 and I really, really enjoy Hannah and her sisters. <laughs> this is my favorite movie ever. Did. Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> Oh, hee-haw, oh, hee-haw. Crazy. It's so crazy. When, when, when I was born, the doctor slapped my face. Hey, hey, you know what I mean? It's crazy, yeah. I tried to make love to my wife, and she called me a dog. Hey, ho, <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's so crazy. Ronnie definitely has better one-liners than that, but hey, you get the point. <laughs> I think that one is his. But anyways, that was just the, we're, we're going to push this impressions episode yeah. until the fucking cows come up. Because right now, it's, it's, it's at like 5.4 thousand. Go watch the damn show. But anyway, let's go back to the rite of passage. Uh, our first cars. Um, who wants to start with the actual first car you ever got? What's the story care. behind it, and what was it? Uh, who wants to take it? I could start uh, it if you want me. Oh, go ahead, Ryan. That's fine. I want okay, right. to start for once. For okay. I'll go. Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. So, uh, uh, first car I had was a 1980 Chrysler LeBaron that I inherited from my my grandpa. I was 17 at the time, and man, this thing was awesome. Like it was just a huge boat. I think you have a picture of, of it there. What but color was it? It was green. And this thing had like, it was like minus 40 and you'd go start it. Is that and it? And there'd be heat That's immediately. It. It'd be like, oh, look, just just heat was coming out of there. Not like a f- fucking Honda or something like that where you got to sit there freezing for like 10 minutes waiting for this stupid <laughs> to, car to come To save $5 a tank. <laughs> and let me explain Let me explain to you guys that aren't from Winnipeg. Oh, he's not from the Great White North, eh? Uh, when you when you go outside in the morning, you have to plug your car in, which means uh, the front of your car has a has a cord sticking out of it, um, which is a block heater, and you plug that into your house, and that keeps your block heater from freezing, uh, and cracking and ruining your car. We're not joking. But when you do come out, you have to sit in the car as it warms up. So the fact that Rival's first car got warm instantly is amazing. That never yeah. happened. No, and actually they have command start now, which uh, you guys yes. probably have to, right? Which is, you know, you just start your car wherever. That apparently was invented in Winnipeg. You guys can Google that if you want, I'm, you know, but that's what I've I will told. tell you what. I remember when I got my first car uh, when I was going to Red River Community College, sitting in that fucking thing in February, dying. Yeah. Dying. Yeah, you have to go start this thing up, go back inside for 30 minutes. If you had to be at school at 8, you better get up at five thirty. No, you and you got to scrape too. You got to scrape the car, scrape the car, and all that stuff. They even have those scrapers that have you know have the flat side, and then on the other side's got those like, if you got to use that. Yeah, it's like, so, yeah. like a see, we have, here's, You come outside. There's so much ice on the windshield that you have to scrape it so you can see it. Most guys have a scraper, which is a wooden kind of a, a handle with a plastic scraper. But if you forget this, the other one you can always use is your credit card. Yeah, oh, or or a, or a blank or a tape cassette holder. Right, right. I used to always use those and rip out the sleeve and use them to do the windshield. Do you remember those little weird uh, heaters that you would buy? You would think you were so you know you go to Canadian Tire and buy a heater that you'd put inside the car that would also plug in, so it would heat the interior, but. Still, the engine still took 30 minutes, like Chris says, yeah. to warm up because it's no. minus 8,000 outside. No. No. So you're in there, no. and it didn't really – it was like, oh, it's kind of warm. And then maybe a minute later, it was fucking freezing again. Like it yeah. just, it was, I had I have a Sienna right now that has that exact thing where you plug it in and it has this little heater. It's like a room heater. Right, Rival right. walks around going, I got command start, but it's actually some <laughs> $5 piece of shit. Hey, Rival, was that uh, your Grandpa Charlie? No, it was my dad's dad. Grandpa Charlie, can we just have a quick shout out for Grandpa Charlie? Grandpa Buddy. Buddy, I'm sorry, Buddy. buddy. Grandpa Buddy. Here's the Buddy. Hey, we haven't done the cheers. Buddy Charlie. Yeah, we haven't done the cheers. Cheers Cheers. to Grandpa Buddy, a.k.a. Fizork. 
<laughs> That's always Fezork number three. Yeah. <laughs> that was his nickname for you guys, Fezork. I was wondering, Fezork. Do you, think, do you think Grandpa Buddy was from the planet Gendel and he was a fucking alien or what? Oh, could have been. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm just trying to go with it. Oh, Fezork sounds very alien. And Gendel is the planet where Ace Fairly came from. Ah, so there you go. Yes. Okay, there you go. Like, like a German Ace Freely. There we go. Oh, oh God. I thought you were going to wrap Does Fezork have a meaning or something? I don't know. I think it's some <laughs> kind of germ. I haven't even looked it up. I should. It probably means like you little shit or something like that. <laughs> hey, my grandpa used to call me, uh, you know, Fortis Eater. Ah, oh, yeah. Little asshole. Fezork. All right. So your, that was your first car. So uh, uh, and I, was just, I mean, those things were just huge. I mean, there was tons of room in the back seat. You could like lie head to toe and not even touch the, the seats in the back. And when you, you know, say you know, head to toe, we know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> oh God, yeah, you lucky guys. Yeah. Uh, three abreast or four abreast, five abreast. Remember that saying? You'd pit as many many people in the front seat of a big car like that in back seat, and you'd be like, oh, four abreast, and then you'd all four of you. There'd be two chicks. Go in there. I, I, yeah. Well, not, not for me, me and five nerds. I remember having at least like 10 people in that car at one point. It yeah. Looked, yeah. And then in the trunk as well. You could fit. Yeah. In, <laughs> well, yeah. 10 living people, I should say. <laughs> ten, 10 breathe, 10 breathers, three, not so breathers. <laughs> All right. Uh, Davey boy, what's your first car? I would say it's my 1981 Honda Civic. Uh, well, I know that. Uh, it would be silver. It looked like I have a bad paint job if you're looking for it right now. Uh, it's a Honda Civic. It's a Honda. That's, that that's it? not That's not it. That's Ryan's car. Yeah, that oh, was shit. my, oh, that's my third car. You guys sent me 18 cars. I can only download so many. So just pretend that's the one. <laughs> well, okay. Everybody knows a Civic. They were super popular cars. It was an 80, 81 Honda Civic. Of course bought... they were super popular. You're worse than Wallace. Oh, Why oh would I just? I'm not working for Honda here. I'm just telling you the real story. Was it, it 80? Yes, there it is. Yes, that's it. 81 Honda Civic, and it actually looked. That's not me and my Filipino wife, but <laughs> it did. It did look like that because I bought it for three hundred dollars. Okay, and the guy was like, like he asked four hundred and fifty, and I'm like, I'll give you three hundred. He goes, All right, man. You seem like a good guy. That's what he says. And when someone says you seem like a good guy. You're going home with a piece of shit, okay? So there was like doing you a favor. Yeah, so there was like putty all over it. I'd put my hand and start after I looked at it closer, and my hand would go right through it. So I took it to Lon. Lon will be a good friend of the show's. Uh, shout out to Lon to his grandpa's oh, wow. body shop down in like God forsaken. I don't know somewhere by Brandon, Manitoba. And we go in there, and the grandpa says, "You know, uh, uh, you guys you're sure you know what you're doing, right?" And Lon, with tons of confidence, is like, "Of course we know." Oh, okay. Gives him a kind of a head nod. So we bring out these grinders, Lon and I. And we start taking like the Grinder! sides. If you look at, if you look at the side, the side of that car, we were taking it down to sheet metal, basically. Okay, we wanted to repaint it, and we we're gonna do this great job, and it was gonna be like for thirty bucks with putty and paint. And we're stupid. We're like eighteen years old, and we're idiots. So we use all this shit, and it goes so bad. I grab five spray can of trim clad silver which makes everything looks like ace freely or something and right. i'm just spraying it on the car and lawn spraying it and we're laughing because it's so bad it's like the car still looks rotted it's terrible we start painting the tires okay and just going oh we're so we're drinking beers and just laughing <laughs> grandpa walks in grandpa said only those words earlier that i just told you to me and this he just looked idiots and then shut the door and walked away and that's it we're just like sitting there like that's he's right uh, but that car, I took that car, to, I went to college in Thunder Bay, I drove that car back and forth to Thunder Bay, I, uh, eight and a half hours from Winnipeg, that car never actually died, it looked like shit the whole time, um, I never had to add any oil, and it was cheap on gas, I got pulled over in that car, somewhere around um, the Canadian Shield, like at uh, around the hot meridian where the Great Plains began, somewhere like weird, and, and they, they pulled me over. I had to add oil. Well, yeah, well, I, I'm still oh, saying God. that, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still saying that, man. I'm still saying that. Winnipeggers is not making me a lot of money. I'm still saying that. Um, so I, I, I get off the side of the Trans-Canada Highway, and the cop pulls me over, you know, and I was doing 151 in a 90, okay, in this car, which That's which in a Honda on. Civic, yeah, is pinned. It's fucking pinned at 151. 
So okay. pulls me over. He's like, you're getting a ticket. And I am now trying to pay for my tuition for college for the second year, all this shit. I'm coming back. I'm stressed out. I'm like, oh, my God. I got four guys in the Civic with me, by the way. Five of us in a Honda Civic coming back from the college. Everybody paid $7 and 50 cents for the ride to make it to Thunder Bay. That's how cheap the gas is. And he's like, you're doing 151. I said, I know. And I'm super sorry. Listen, I'm going to college. It's going to fuck me up. I need to, like, I did everything like I did to that math teacher that I sent flowers to to pass me so I didn't have to be held back in grade 12 math. I did everything you could imagine. Like, yeah, Sankar. And I was all over it. And the guy wouldn't budge. He was just one of those stiffs, you know. And my buddy Dan Caldwell, he's looking and he's, he's like, dude, just let it go. Like, you won't stop. Like, I'm like, dude, come on, please. Like, seriously, seriously, I'll kill myself. I'll fucking kill myself. And when you say that, you really, you don't mean it. <laughs> you know, I mean, how many of us say that? We say that weekly, but you don't mean it. You just want to get out of something, right? Fast. So anyway, the cops, I'm giving you the ticket. And I said, well, at least give me your fucking pen. I literally said that. I looked at the guy and said, give me your pen. I at least need something. He's like, no. And that was it. And uh, so that was my story of the Civic. I have other stories of cars. Um, tune in every old? Thursday take, night, not Wednesday. Take a breath. Um, <laughs> to... <laughs> I'm still mad about it. What do you mean you wanted his pen? His pen? Like you want... if oh, I, I wanted to win something. I got to win, dude. You always have to win. It doesn't matter. It's like, God, okay, here's $260. Thanks for ruining it. I couldn't even go back to college for my second year. <laughs> but give me your fucking pen, you piece of shit. That's what I meant. All right? So, yeah, that's exactly what I meant. Sorry if I didn't explain it right, but I was so mad. Thunder Bay Technical College was high class, $260 a semester. You're going to get your money's worth. Well, well I'm, sure listen, Dave, I'm sure if Dave was by himself, he would have given the cop the breathalyzer, and maybe you would have got out of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? And what have you heard? What have you heard? A little fast to think you're going to talk your way out of a ticket. So uh, like... What Ryan was saying is blow into this, Dave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you're All right, Ryan. You're right. But at the time, I didn't know. But I, I didn't even get the pan. It sucked. Anyway. Okay. So um, my first car was a uh, 76 Velari. I hated that very, thing. Very similar to this one. Listen, I was one of the first cats to have a car. And I bought my own car. Here's the thing. When I uh, graduated from high school... A lot of my friends got cars. Kev, Ryan's brother, got a car because Al Ahoff, uh, Ribo's dad, had 18 cars that all looked exactly the same. He, he, had, shares, he had shares okay. in Oldsmobile. <laughs> <laughs> he did. So Kev got one. Ribo got one. This guy, this guy, this guy. This guy. And I, here's what I got. I come home from school and I was like, I got a present for you. Happy uh, graduation. I'm like, finally. This is going to be great. It's downstairs. How can a car be downstairs, Dad? I don't know, maybe the keys are down there. I walk downstairs, he goes, it's in the closet. I'm like, how'd you fit a car in the closet? Waka waka. Open it up and it's a weightlifting, <laughs> it's a weightlifting bench. Oh. Like a bench press. And like that was my fucking graduation present. So anybody said, I got a shitty car when I was a kid. Hey, go fuck your ass. I got a weightlifting bench. Try and drive that to the prom. Oh, dude, <laughs> oh. I feel sorry for you, man. My dad was a math teacher. And I wanted a just a remote control car that went around the track. And he bought me a board game called Smath, which tried to make mathematics fun. So I know what you mean. Because you wake up, you're like, oh. It's, and by the way, he ma he's made up for that a million times. He's made up over that. My dad oh, okay, not made okay. up for it. He never made up for it ever. <laughs> Teddy, math. Teddy, get it. Teddy, if you're out there. Listen, so anyway, so. Um, math, math. I'm looking. Math, piece of smash. So, <laughs> God, what it thrashes, smashes, and hits. Okay, so uh, I need a car. Piece of shit car. So, um, Matt, <laughs> Matty, Matt, Matt, and Richie, a uh, good friend of ours to this day, he works at Canadian Tire for Henderson's dad. Henderson. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> I can't even get into Henderson. Forget it. Uh, anyway, so he knows a guy called Doug. This is 30 years ago. How do I remember yeah. his name? Is Doug. Hey, by the way, by the way, let me just interrupt because Doug just quit like last year or the year before quit. what a canadian tire canadian tire he was <laughs> still there second. so doug's probably 60 at this point he just quit he just quit yes Bad i've been taking timing. my car i've been taking my car to doug for years and years and years and years and years and years are you serious you take your car to there get, hey, get him to get him on the Robin. show Robin. <laughs> does he ever talk about me <laughs> yeah does he ever mention my name 
Uh, yeah, he said that you gave the breast, best best breathalyzer ever. Okay, so he's got this car. It's a 76 Ferrari. Uh, in case you don't forget what I was talking about, it looked exactly like that. So he sells me this car for 400 bucks. Now, to me, this is a Tesla. This is my car, man. And what they've done, which I did not know, is it used to be a three on the tree. If you're a car guy, which I'm not, back in the day, in 76, apparently, the year Destroyer came out, that's how old it is, you could drive this car and you would switch the gears like you would a, a stick shift, but it was on the wheel of the car. He had wow. taken this, MacGyvered it, and put it into the fucking, uh, 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 what's it console, called, where whatever. you put your drinks, whatever that's the console, except for it was backwards. So if we're driving a standard, a transmission now it's one two three reverse. reverse right this one was reverse one two so it's reverse one two three it's like the worst ever that's how i learned how to drive fucking standard transmission I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm like reverse. <laughs> I remember That's that car because you couldn't driving. have just any. Not everybody could drive that car. It was always you know to do three on the tree well, and everybody would. But here's another here's another problem. If you if you took the gear and 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 put it in too fast, I kind of jammed it in. It would lock. So here I am in Winnipeg in April, which you guys know. What's Winnipeg like in April? The snow is melting, puddles and mud and shit everywhere. I would have to go under the car, reach and pull the thing back. It was very simple, but I would have to do that myself. After I took it to Doug three or four times, I finally went, dude, here's what you do. The gear would be stuck. So I'd been Portage Avenue and fucking, you know, Polo Park Avenue, whatever, stuck at a red light with a hundred <laughs> cars behind me. And hold on a sec, I'd get under the car and go and switch the gear from A to B, get back in completely covered in snow mud and Sweet. shit and continue driving and that's oh, what i yeah. did for two years that car lived for, for me man i two things i just love that because of the way the world is now i'd love to go back to just driving a beater that there was no regulations and Zitback is still running on the scroll um, on the bottom of the screen, and I think it has been for like about 20 minutes. I, I'm kind of embarrassed about the acne I used to have in high school on my back. All right, let's talk about my car. No, if you have any more. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so, uh, as, as, listen, we got so many more. We can do a double story on this, but as my, one of my final things about this car was two things one we're talking about beaters i took it to uh, i drove it to, 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 from winnipeg to calgary went to wrestling school and this thing this thing took me to california it took me all across north america and i remember i drove it from calgary to edmonton to pick up my cousins carrie and Lori. i might run into them in winnipeg awkward and my uncle larry <laughs> would not let them get in the car with me because it was such a beater it's terrible yeah it's such a beater like you take my car i'm like what's well, my car I, just, I drove it from winnipeg he goes I don't care. You're not taking my kids in this car. So he gave me his beater. And the last story I'll tell is we're going to drive this thing to uh, Fresno, California for wrestling. Me, Lance, Lenny, and Brett Como. I take it to Canadian Tire for the 40-point inspection. I come back later on. I pick up the 40-point inspection piece of paper. It's fail, 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 <laughs> fail, 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 possible fail, fail. In the section uh, section that says comments, the guy had written, get a new, and then crossed it out. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to be a smart ass, and then he went. And then he went, I don't want to get fired, but he could read through it. Wow. Get you're, ste new you're, st you're steaming it just to see. What did he say exactly? And I, drew that f I, I, f I drove that motherfucker to Fresno, to L.A., yeah. back with many stories we can tell. And it finally died driving from, from Okotoks to Calgary after a, a very valiant car it was. And when I finally got it towed to the junkyard, they said, listen, I said, how much is it worth? The guy's like, <laughs> <laughs> he goes, how about this? I won't charge you to leave it here. <laughs> oh, my God. That's great. That's that. 
Love I it. won't charge you to leave it here. The willpower of a beater and, and your and yourself, though, you can you can drive them a lot longer than they tell you in society today. Believe That's me. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Safer Good. than you think. Rival, you yeah. got another one or what? Oh, I got lots. Yeah. Well, I had a, uh, <laughs> I, 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 a two-parter. I mean, we, it's worth, we we can keep going. Or uh, I know. Well, we're at thirty-five minutes already. So uh, well, give I'm us one sure. more to take it home, Rival. It shouldn't always oh, be. A we got lots. Day. We got tons. Yeah. We we got tons. Well, well just you guys go. For- Go piece of shit cars right so i had like a, a pontiac 6000 and by the time i was done with it, it was like a pontiac 60 maybe and uh <laughs> pontiac 153 what color had, was that? is ryan is ryan reading from a script i am <laughs> and then what color was that? and then she said when she walked thoughtfully <laughs> to the forest with her friends what color was that car ribo um that was the one that you thought was a honda civic which everyone knows what a honda civic is except for you supposedly um well, super popular i get it hey there we go hey, hey. hey, hey. Um, so when i give ash thing, give ash I, that <laughs> yeah when i traded this thing in this thing was on its last legs i knew i was trading in i was getting a new car it was like the beater special i had to fill up the tires with air every like two days, they'd start getting flatter and flatter. The trunk wouldn't really close. The glove box wouldn't really close. Um, I had the bumper kind of fell off, so I tied it up with a rope. Um, it had zero brakes, like I mean zero brakes. We took it in. My dad and I took it in to get uh, to get uh, the trade in, and my dad was falling behind me, and I was going like thirty on the like the perimeter or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> You know, with the hazards flashing and stuff like that. And I'd see, like, I'd have to try to time the lights up that are, like, you know, four miles up. And just, oh, i got to time this right. Better time this right. And we pull it in. You'd have to gear down to, like, first so it would slow down. No brakes. And I told the guy when I pulled it in. And uh, when I went to trade it in, I said, hey, just, just so you know, if you're, he's like, oh, just move the car around. I'm like, it has no brakes. Like, no brakes. <laughs> He's like, yeah, no problem. He's like, no, no brakes. And he's like, yeah, okay, cool. And he goes, and then he comes back. I didn't hear any smash, anything crash or anything like that. But he comes back and goes, oh, you weren't kidding. There, there's no brakes on that fucking thing. Yeah, no, there's there is nothing. So I, I'm not sure what else. Was, it was missing. You're, putting, like you're a, putting the mechanic in danger. It's like, do you mind getting me a safety on this? They have to get in because they always have to check it out. Man, and, you know, you think about that. Imagine we should set somebody up. Find, buy a beater and just make it so shitty like saw out the brakes and everything so it's like yeah would you mind we have to tow it we let it down that's you might take it around the parking lot for Dave. us that's called well, murder no, or or great reality <laughs> television <laughs> oh, the it's called murder or great reality almost television. almost murder.com yes, listen, you know we can do we're gonna continue this because there's a, i got another five hours of stories about cars piece of shit car um <laughs> I think we should wrap this one up right now, though, because we're starting to get oh. to the point of no return. Um, there we go. Oh, hold on. Dave says I only need one more car. Dave, text well, me. I do. I do have one more car I'd love to talk about because I uh, my other two right. cars that I prepared. Because you're getting story. really fucking loaded right now. But let's no, I'm good, you. actually. No, I'm really good, man. I don't think you're good. What, what, what color was the car? Yeah, was I, it had a a, I had a 1970. No, no. No, please, no. I had a 1977 Toyota Celica. What color okay, was it? and uh, it was, I think the picture I sent you was yellow. It was the little two door coupe, the little sports guy. Yeah, sorry about that. It doesn't matter. I can talk about it while you're bringing yeah. it up. It'll, that blue yeah. one was my um, Toyota Celica that I had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't well, talk was, about was that the one. Was Dika Celica? It, it doesn't matter. It's not, these aren't pictures of our cars because we didn't have cameras then. So I'm just, I just Googled it. It doesn't matter what you put up. <laughs> put up a picture of, of a fucking elf. I don't give a shit. Uh, it was 77. So long ago, we didn't have cameras oh, back then. At imitations, I'm borrowing a pair of your pants. Um, that sounded like the American version, Southern version of Elf. I'm borrowing a pair of your pants. That's great. So this was my car, another Chris Halloween special picture. This is so funny. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> We're actually in your car right now. I yeah. can't believe you put that up. You said put up anything. You said you didn't care. <laughs> All right. So well, I don't. But I, I had a Toyota Celica, right. and I adored yeah. this car. I really did. Uh, it did have a tape deck that the uh, sure sure it's Just close enough. It. It's a Toyota. Uh, I, it had a tape deck in it that froze a tape. If you know what I mean, you couldn't get it out. Yes. So it was Rod Stewart's. Every pitcher told a story. I must have listened to it for fucking two years straight if I wanted to listen to a tape, which actually wasn't that bad, by the way. It was really good, good, especially that tune. 
I drove it for like probably two years. Um, I took it down to California on a massive road trip with my buddy Todd Winger. Uh, we stayed in California for probably three months. Um, so many stories there, I won't get into too much, but we ended up going to a place called San Clemente, California. We pitched tents and we basically lived Literally, there for three months. That's a gay and, term. Pitch, pitching and, tents uh, is a gay here's term. the funny thing though, Dave. I <laughs> we well, separately, two this. sites. Hold on, hold on. TMZ uh, contacted me earlier in the week and asked me if I had this. <clears throat> Oh, whatever. We went there to be surfers, okay? We went there to be surfers. We wanted to be surfers. I know this because TMZ contacted me and told me that they have actual footage of you, of you catching a wave. Do you know this? No, I don't know this, but I'm sure it's it's. I've seen a video before, and it's all. No, I almost caught it. It's not hanging, that bad. No, this is you hanging ten, catch a wave, sitting on top of the world. This was actually considered. For the new um, uh, 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 oh, Hawaii beautiful. Five-O flick, <laughs> and they were super excited about it. Um, if I could figure out how to start it, I would do that. But I'm very excited right now. So <laughs> when, <laughs> when Chris gets excited, there might be mistakes. It gets a little excited. It's no big deal. There All right, it is. Hold on. I got. Okay, hold on. I got to. You got to get rid of some of these things. Look at this. Okay, so oh, here we go, guys. This is actual footage from the Hawaii Five-O reboot. Here. Featuring uh, Dave Zitback uh, 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 in the, the uh, Pacific Ocean. Here we go. There I am. That's me. That is me right there in the middle. That's Watch me. This. There he's I gonna, am. He's going to hang, yeah. hang the pipe. Hang the pipe. Oh, wait. Ooh. Sorry. Okay, but that was the best I probably ever did. And I actually went on 10 surfing kind of trips where I went out in the ocean for three hours a time. So it's very hard. Now I snowboard. I don't give a shit. But it's like that's what I was doing. I was trying. It's kind of scary. You think about the sharks. Look at that wave, man. The sharks want... in two feet of water is terrible. It's not two feet of water. It just <laughs> looks terrible. Oh, you couldn't do that. I've seen you. Dude, I've seen you. Dude, I've seen you in the water. Anyway, back. <laughs> you're no good. In the... you're, not, you're not very good in water. Um, it don't fly at night. I, 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 I want to go back to my car, though. Oh, okay. Wow, okay down the knees there it is there it is but it's a malibu bar board a malibu board it's very long and i went to the back half if i moved up maybe four and a half five inches i would have had it i would have had the balance point so it's not that bad but this i but guy, uh, it's not it's not great i guess knee deep in water right there i love how i'm just defending myself like crazy you guys are just like it's terrible it's fucking like if sucks. you did <laughs> If okay, you did like, stand up, like how how far would have you have gone? Like you would have been on the sand and like another. So what? Second. It's something, man. It's a proof that I fucking surfed. I went on all these surfing trips, but that car, oh, that car got oh, me a lot. Wow. Oh, you went on all these surfing trips. Really, pray tell. Where did these surfing trips take you, Dave? Well, I, uh, well, Chris, I went to Long Beach, California, or, or, or Long Beach, British Columbia, rather. Uh, This is great. I thought you guys actually deleted me. I was oh, like, yeah, oh, oh, you're a big surfer. Hey, Dave, tell us about some of your best surf. Um, okay, can we go back to that car? Do, or do we need to? Or do you want to just kill it? Because that car, I sold that car. I love that car. I came back to Manitoba. I sold it. I needed money. And I sold that car. Well, and then I saw the car. And I still had a spare key for the car. So I actually stole the car and went on a joyride with my old car. And when I brought it back to the house, the guy was standing outside and he says, what are you doing in my car? And I literally said, I held up the key and I said, hey man, sorry. I go, there's a lot of these cars around and I grabbed the wrong one. And he went, all right then. And I just walked away, but I actually like stole my own car. Like I had the key and I saw it years ago because it had a license plate on the front that I recognized, which was like a, 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 a Santa Way shark or San Jose Sharks or something. Oh, you, you know, in Manitoba, it, you, you could have a front license plate that's not your Manitoba oh, plate. Still, still, it still, it still exists. Well, I don't know if it still exists, man. Who knows? I don't, I don't buy that. I don't know. We're gonna we got to make this show an hour.
<laughs> hey, good show though. Good job. That was a great show. Yeah, great show, guys. Way to go. We got a lot more stories about first cars. I didn't get into the sex that I had in my first car. Whoa! That car, that car was a piece of shit, but man, when you were like 19 years old in Okotoks, Alberta, Dallas, <laughs> Wilson, Calgary, listening to the American rock and roll band Van Halen, you could pick up a lot of chicks in that Valari. Don't worry about it, baby. There's a fine line between a kick in the pants and a pat in the pants. The fine line between two, three, four. The fine line between a pat in the back and a kick in the pants. So let's dance, baby. Those are the pickup line. Always oh, that's great. <laughs> let's hang out after the show for a while. Cheers, guys, man. What a great time. Uh, thank you so much for joining us last week for our, our hugely successful um, uh, uh, Olympics. Olympics. We're back on track, baby. After that terrible imitation, you guys just don't want to watch. You know what? Guess what? You guys are all banned. Yeah, yeah, you bunch of pricks. No, get it together. Alex. Get it together. Exactly. Get it together. Watch first cars. What else are you gonna do? Olympics, uh, watch the uh, uh, Halloween special imitations. Yeah. Go back to episode Go seven. There's a whole episode about puking off booze. What the fuck's wrong with you people? Get on it. Come on. High quality stuff. Highbrow stuff. <laughs> are we still going? I think we should probably shut it down, right? Okay, ah, right. let's give a shout out to Lon. <laughs> I saw that earlier. That's so funny. See you next week, guys. We love you, and we'll yeah. finish some other uh, amazing topics. Be kind to each other. We love you. Got anything, Ribo? Just uh... I'm just waiting for this fucking show to end, for God's sake. <laughs> What's happening?